All right, so we have our number one WPA3 enjoyer, SAQ, uh, asking about any news about the ESP32 WPA3 vulnerabilities. I will say that in the last stream, we figured out that um, there is the possibility of creating a WPA3 access point on an ESP32 device. That means you can take one of these small little uh, affordable microcontrollers. This one is the ESP32 S3, but you could take a microcontroller like the one that I have here and you could use it to create a WPA3 network, connect a device, and then attack it as your own personal lab. And I think that that is really useful um, because not everybody has the money to go and buy like a WPA3 router to start doing some like basic vulnerability testing. Now, um, I have been listening. I'm always listening. Um, but the, uh, the tool that I wanted to share this week was actually shared by another um, user on Twitter. So I was talking, no, not that one, this one, um, Blunderbuss. So um, I am really interested in checking this out more because our good friend on Twitter, who I'm curious, no, 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 no. Okay, cool. Well, don't worry about that then. Uh, our friend on Twitter, who will be named later, um, mentioned that they uh, were able to do some WPA3 uh, auditing with this tool. And, you know, I like to listen to our audience. So unless this is like a, a backdoor that a North Korean spy is trying to get me to install again, uh, then I will check this out in a virtual machine on a computer I don't care about. But the idea would be uh, looking for... Um, uh, looking for WPA3 vulnerabilities, getting familiar with them and testing things out a little bit. So if you're looking for a tool to try out on our newly discovered WPA3 enabled microcontroller, then perhaps you could use a cheap microcontroller you have sitting on your shelf and this tool to uh, maybe take a whack, because it's made by Whacker, get it, uh, at WPA3 hacking.